Hey, I thought it would be fun to demonstrate some examples found in art instruction books. I have four shelves of art instruction books. Displayed here is the book Painting with Oils by William Palleth a Walter Foster publication. While this uh, book is in fact an oil painting book, I am going to demonstrate using acrylic paints. I found this book at the Book Peddler in Godridge, Ontario, Canada. Have a look for the link to my marker sketch of the store in the description below. You can follow along with the video and try this demonstration. It will be fun and a useful technique that you can apply to your own paintings. This was my first attempt at this exercise on uh, page 16 that you'll see in the following uh, uh, video clips. I wasn't real happy with it, so I actually did another one, which I'm much more happy with. Anyway, the materials that I use follow. The following three images show the materials that I use in the sequence that I use them. A full listing will be provided in the description. Anyway, let's carry on. Shown here is page 18 of the Working with Oils book. I'm going to do this three-part exercise with acrylic paint. Be sure to follow along with this three-part painting video that demonstrates the process. The complete list of materials required would be found in the description. I'm using my home-built Stay Wet palette, which is just a food tray that comes with a nice airtight cover. Have a look in the description below and click on the link How I Make a Stay Wet Palette. I add a piece of paper towel and lightly spray it with some moisture. Over the paper towel, I add a piece of parchment paper. That will be my palette. For the first color, or for the first mixed color, for this exercise, I will be using cadmium red and phthalo green. I mix the two colors together, which will give me the first layered color. Note the reference photo in the top left corner. I'm wiping the brush so that it will just be moist. I grab a brush full of red and then green. And when you mix these two together, you get a nice dark color, which will be used for the next first layer. Coming up in the next clip, I'll be painting the next first layer. I'm starting on the first layer of the paint, and I'm using a pointy number eight brush instead of the flat that I was using on my previous painting. I'm taking the trouble to actually make all of the branches in the tree trunk right away. I'm twisting and turning the brush to create uneven areas of foliage. And I'm leaving lots of sky holes in the trees so that the branches can be seen. A little bit more painting that's going to go on here, so stay tuned and then I'll be mixing the paint for the next layer of color. I'm beginning the mix of the second color. The top color is cadmium red, and the second color below is burnt umber, and the last color is yellow ochre. I want a medium dark color that is shown in the reference image at the top left corner. I've added a little bit more yellow ochre, but the mix is still too bright. To correct this, I'm adding more burnt umber to the mix. I now have the color that'll work. Note, I have often removed the blob of paint from the brush on, onto a paper towel before I continue mixing. I always mix additional color to the edge of the color pool. This is a good plan not to add paint to the center of the color pool because you'll end up having enough paint to cover the Queen Mary by the time you get the mix you want. With the final mix, I'm ready to continue painting. I'm now starting to just lay in, uh, just dab in some blotches of, uh, of the second color mixture. And I'm just doing this essentially on the right side of the tree, or your right side. And the reason for this is that I'm assuming that the sun reaches that side. I will, in fact, be breaking it up a little bit, making sort of raggeding the edges on the thing just to make sure it looks kind of tree light with little leaves sticking out here and there. If you're still with me and have gotten value from this video, give it a thumbs up. It very much helps the channel and it lets me know what kind of content you like so that I can make more of it. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. I'm now mixing the last layer for this sketch. The colors I'm using are crimson, titanium white, 
and a yellow ochre. I'm using a half inch uh, flat brush to mix the colors. I mix these together to paint the last uh, layer of this sketch. I've already, with uh, the number eight brush, put little dabs, very tiny amounts of, of the lightest color, it's our layer of third mix. And uh, I'm now just adding some of the uh, twigs and stuff that uh, just tie the whole thing together. If you notice that I've uh, put some of the twigs in the sky holes and stuff, and this just adds to the realism of the tree. It's actually a fun little painting to do. Hi, if you like what I'm doing, you could really help me out by buying me a cup of coffee. To do this, just look in the description for a link to this funding page. I'd really appreciate it. However, it isn't necessary. It is totally optional. I'm finding it great fun to work through exercises in my art instruction books. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have a comment, I would welcome it. By the way, if you have a favorite art book that you'd like to share with me, by all means, send me a comment. Hit the bell to get notice of upcoming videos. Be sure to pass this video on to your friends and please subscribe.